Okay, all right. All hey, right. what's going okay, on? We gotta see. No way to. Somebody else come on, but let's go. Okay. You gonna yes. tag me? No, I gotta be padded. Let me see. Oh, okay. Let's see how this is gonna work. See, you haven't went up there yet. Okay, all right. So, what's the question? question is is that why is it so hard for people to admit when they are wrong what 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 is the deal with uh people not being able to accept responsibility for their own actions uh, i want you all to talk to us today let us know what you think about that brother eric jones i see you eric jones. lady mary daryl mary hey debbie reynolds we debbie. miss you girl yeah tanya so y'all tell us, what, what do y'all think? Why is it so hard for people to admit right. when they're Why wrong? Why is it so hard for people to admit when they're wrong? Please comment below. We really want to know. Yes, this has been a, a great debate for relationships. Many of the uh, narcissistic behavior of everyone playing the blame game in relationships is really tearing down relationships. So we want to uh, bring people into the accountability uh, place of, of just reasoning. What do you say, Tanya? Because they are liars. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, that, that, that'll do it. That, that, that pretty much will do it, you know. Why, 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 Sister Tanya, why do you think people lie? Why do you think people lie to get out of it? Why, why can't they just accept responsibility for what they're doing? You know, why, why, why is it so hard for them to accept their own responsibility? Attention to make the relationship better. 
not to down you or to make right. you feel inferior, but they're right. doing it to make the relationship better. So, uh, Tanya, you bring up an interesting point because how is it that if I don't admit my wrong, and here it is, uh, dreaming, <laughs> that's dreaming right there for y'all who don't know, dreaming is sitting over there, you know, offended by what I've said or what I've done, here it is, now we're both losing because I've hurt her, and yet I'm too prideful to say that I'm wrong. Uh, Darius, what is it? I'd rather appear uh, savage than everyone in the Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Truly effed up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's true. Yeah. Tommy, yeah. let's see what time we got going yeah, on. Come on, Tommy. Yeah. And Joshua, what you got to say well, about where, where it? Why do, do people think? not want to, you know, why, why do people not want to uh, admit that they're wrong? Huh? Huh? Dex. What's up, Dex? What's up, dude? Uh, Ada Gallon? Yeah. Yeah. Yvette, come on, tell us why. Why do you think people have a hard time admitting when they're wrong? When they're wrong. You know, I really, I really think, uh, uh, sweetheart, that it's a lack of maturity. Absolutely. And I think, uh, you must understand this, people of God. You must understand this. If you are truly trying to have an adult relationship, you gotta have an adult. It has to be a, right. you know, you have to be an adult. You have you have to behave yourself like an adult. And kids are the ones, immature people are the ones who are always trying to get out of stuff. Right. If you need it, be man or woman enough to just deal with your consequences. You know what my wife would would tell me? Get some
of what your role is and what my role is is very skewed. So I, I'm coming from a male perspective that I know many times in historical uh, landscape that it's very hard for men to admit they're wrong, especially when they're talking to their female counterparts because they don't want to feel like they're losing their position in the house. They don't want to feel like they're losing their authority. And that's clearly not what Ephesians 5 is talking about. You don't level up authority. That's, that's covenant rules that right. God has put there. But because we live in this uh, male-dominated society, and it's not just in our own oh Lord. It's, it's not just in our American society, but it, it's also in all different types of societies, uh, uh, and, and especially in non-Christian-based societies. It, it, it's even more prevalent. So, you know, you, you still got to understand that women are considered property in some cases versus, uh, you know, the best thing that ever happened to you. So I'm just coming from that perspective. You talk about the ladies. Why so hard for y'all? We got to talk about I'm right here. What what Brian say? They think they know everything. Yeah, yeah. When people don't want to be wrong. They they do. They they do. Foundation is right. And and her platform. Right, right. Foundation is right. Her platform is right. You're absolutely right. You know, he brings up an interesting point when you say when people think they know everything. You know, the craziest thing about someone who thinks they know everything is that they forget about all the stuff they don't know. Yeah, the crazy thing is <laughs> people who think they know everything know when they're wrong. You ain't know, <laughs> yeah. Hey, look. They know when they're wrong, but, they, but they're they not going to say yeah. that they were wrong. So and they hope you don't yeah, know that they were right. wrong. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. That's, that's an awesome, that's an awesome, awesome. That is an awesome observation. Hey, right Cam. Hey, Cam. What, what you think, Cam and LaShine? Hey, what y'all think? Why is it so hard for people to admit when they're wrong? However difficult this really is, it's extremely important within a relationship that, that, that the two people come to a level of understanding and communication right, where they can admit that they're wrong. Uh, sweetheart, what do you think about when when, when people do admit that they're wrong, but yet the significant other still won't let it go. They still beat them down and continue to drive that stake deep into that heart. And, you know, like like I said, I'm sorry, enough is enough. Like, I mean, you know, because, I mean, I'm going to say I'm sorry so many times. I mean, you know, I'm made, but I still got a click in there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? It might just click one day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you, now I ain't going to keep saying I'm sorry now. You know what I mean? But if I'm truly apologetic, I'm going to apologize. And I'm gonna, you know, I want to move on from it. Not that I don't think there shouldn't be some recompense from it. Or, Which it should. You know, it, it, it gets it to that top. But some stuff is so petty. Like, it's like petty. Uh, are you okay? Petty. <laughs> <You're petty. laughs> but, uh, like, I mean, but as well as the other person should forgive yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Pastor Tolbert, what's up, Mo? El Mo. Yeah, yeah. But what, what does Brother Cortez then say? Lack of humility and respect for the other other one's feelings. It's all about you mentally equal. Uh, in one relationship, you must be you must be other folk. Yeah, I like that, man. I like that. Yeah. Ron says, okay, I'm wrong, can change it, yes, and can you can change it, no, wow, that's awesome, yeah, that's right, you know, just an admission that you're wrong can, can, can do a whole lot of good, I like that, man, I really like that. What was you about to say, Drew? Well, I think sometimes in relationships, even if you are wrong, just to say, hey, it's okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, right, you know, sometimes it doesn't hurt just to say, I'm sorry, and Whoever. Right. Well, let me play the advocate for a minute because, you know, sometimes, what about when, you know, it's a relationship on your job? It may be a relationship within your family. It could just be a relationship with your significant intimate other. And, and you have admitted that you're wrong. And every time that when you admitted that you were wrong, that person used it. And they keep on and keep on. Yeah, they use it for their benefit and, and destroy you in that. You know what I'm saying? They didn't take it as a. Uh, a responsible, mature adult, you know, assuming accountability for their actions. They took it as an opportunity to hurt the other person. They, they took it even for an opportunity to be spiteful. They say, oh, all right, you're doing it this way. I'm going to show you what, you know what I'm saying? They, 
You know, so what what do you do in a what, situation right. like that, you know? What we all do in that type of situation. Okay, yeah. Yeah, what so so I've admitted that I'm wrong, but yet when I admit that I'm wrong it it, it now it switches. And because I'm admitting that I'm wrong, using it against you. and now the other person is using it against me, now, now is that is that a good reason why people don't always, you know, admit that they're wrong in situations because they have been habitually beat down when they do uh, take responsibility for their actions, you know? I mean, I did put the toilet seat down. I promise I did. I promise I did. I don't understand why you bagged up and fell in. You should have been running. I mean, you know, that I put the toilet seat down. I don't know why you all upset about that. I mean, look, you, you heard the way it hit the toilet bowl. I mean, I don't know what's wrong. I ain't do it. I ain't do it. I ain't do it. I ain't do it. Ain't do it. So if you're going to get cussed out anyway, you know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of times people don't do it. Y'all tell us what you think. Why don't people admit when they're wrong? I'm wrong. Do you forgive me? Or do you hold it against me and keep bringing it up in my face? Yeah. Yeah. Then you haven't forgiven me for my wrong. You're right. I Absolutely. do believe what you said, Brother Ron, man. That, that, that was one of the things that I was aiming for. Right. That a lot of times when people do admit when they're wrong, someone still smacks them right in the face when they can't be. Hold it. And hold it. Oh, my God. That's right. tomorrow's topic. We're going to talk about holding grudges, but... But people will beat you down sometimes for not admitting that you're wrong. And even though Charles Spencer has just tuned in, and even though Demetrius has just tuned in, or, no, that's Demonte, my bad. Uh-huh. Even though y'all just tuned in, tell us what y'all think about why don't people admit when they're wrong. I need, I need to understand that because, you know, we live in a very, very inward source society. Our culture is so teeny. Done that was wrong was pleasurable. 
I know what I was doing wrong. I didn't blame it on anybody else. I did it because I wanted to do it. Way. And right. it's just that simple because check this out. Regardless if you acknowledge it or take accountability for it whatsoever, you're going to have to stand by yourself at judgment anyway. So you might as well get in the habit of learning how to accept the responsibility that has been set before you. Listen, let me tell you something. All blessings flow from a responsible party. <laughs> so much has been given unto you. Much is required of you. So if, if, if God has blessed you to be uh, where you are in whatever space that you're in, the more mature you are within that space, the better that space is going to become for you. Hey, there go Karen Hudson on there. What's up, dumb? Tell us, why is it so hard for people to accept yeah. responsibility right. they're wrong? And admit that they're wrong. Admit that they're wrong. Wrong, what you say? Be held accountable for your own actions. That's it, man. You gotta be held accountable for your own actions. You know, maybe, maybe dream is because some people don't like when nobody else to tell them when they're wrong. You know, right. some people don't like when nobody else to tell them. You need to straighten up. Right. Every time I get behind the wheel, somebody want to tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm doing something. Tell me how to drive. Right. <laughs> Every time I get behind the wheel, I've been driving since I was 12 years old. Actually, before that. Every time I get behind, I can't help it if them lines are always moving on the highway. Right. The lines moving. <laughs> I, don't, I ain't never seen no straight line. They always be squiggly lines, so I be all over the road. Listen, just let me do it. My, you know, come on, man. Every time I get behind them, they like me so tired of that. They don't never want to drive. I don't understand that. Anyway. But they can't admit when they're wrong. <laughs> but they can't admit when they're wrong. Man, every single time. Why, 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 why is it so hard for people to admit when they're wrong? I'm telling you, the more you start admitting when you're wrong, the better a person is going to make you, though. That's one of the crazy things about it. This thing works in reverse. You think that you're uh, being belittled. You think that you're being held back. You think that it's going to be a blemish against your record. But actually, it takes a much bigger person to admit when they're wrong than it does for a person to just keep on trying to fight the truth. Y'all tell us what you think, Paulette Graves. Come on, tell us what you think. What's up, Tori? Uh, Alan, come on. Come on, what's up, Alan? Yeah. Tell us, tell us what you think. It's not a boring ride. It's a good conversation. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Look, look, what, 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 what is really, what's really the issue? Because when you look at it, it's just not in our house. It's just not in your house. It's all it's well. Everywhere. I mean, it's across the board. I mean, this thing is universal. It's worldwide. It's just not even in America. It's, it's, it's crazy. The cultures of people admitting when they're wrong. You go to China, they blame it on somebody. You go to Russia, Putin's blaming it on somebody else. It's always the blame game. Why can't we take responsibility for our own actions? Y'all have and it can be real simple. It can be real simple. You ever notice? Oh, you trying to hear that? ain't nobody trying to hear that. Alice, Alice, stop. I really want to see relationships get better. I mean, I really want to see people 
have better relationships with their family, have better relationships with their spouse, their co-workers, you know, with their bosses and stuff, man, it, it, it really is one of those type of situations that if, if, if people were to grab a hold of some of this teaching, some of this knowledge, some of this revelation, it'll take you a long way. It'll really bless your soul because I'm learning more and more as I live each day how to clean up some of my messes. You know what I mean? Uh, and cleaning up most of my messes really just uh, originates with me just being responsible and accountable for myself. You know, stop waiting on other people to do things for me and me doing it for myself, you know. Right. Uh, I don't know everything. I ain't always right, you know. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, though. But, but you know, it, it's okay to be wrong. I remember one of my... Uh, one of my uh, uh, mentors, and I and I look at this man, I love him uh, to death because he told me something when I first started preaching. Uh, he was one of our teachers, and it's not been five years. I think I'm uh, I, I, I mean, I, I think about this often. It was over 17 years ago this man spoke this into my life, and he told me it's okay to say I don't know. Right. He said, don't be out there right. being a know-it-all. Sometimes you're just going to make a mistake. It's okay to be wrong. It's okay not to know everything. So just that, you know, just that tidbit of information, being in leadership, being a pastor, you know. That's a good one, right? You know, yeah. that, that was a good word of advice. What does the cooler say? What you doing, daughter? It could be from the fear of not being understood. Wow. Wow. Explain that. Explain that. Go, go, go into... Go into the detail, uh, Lady uh, Aquila. What's up, my brother? Love you, Timmy, man. It's good to see you, man. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, it, the fear of being misunderstood. That's awesome. Right. That's awesome. Right. Because sometimes our misunderstanding is misunderstood, so therefore it it gives a uh, uh, an offense when it should have been taken yeah. as being. Yeah. Right. You know, you may take it the wrong way, or it may be manifested the wrong way and now we got a whole fight because I know a lot of times oh my god a lot of times when uh, Dreamy and I were, were coming into our relationship uh, we had to get on the same page with just in our cultural differences just in our uh, language differences just in how we see things different and you know just in that some things were, were misunderstood and, and taken the wrong way and you know when, once we really, you know, got to the nitty gritty and was and we were explaining and telling each other what well, we felt about to it. Talk. Yeah. And if you don't talk, if you're so busy trying not to be wrong, you can't never get to understand. Huh? You know you know what really blesses me? Uh, I got a revelation about this uh not too long ago and, and I told I told my wife, I said, you know what? You are so blessed to have me is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, you're no, right, no, you're right. you know, seriously, seriously, I was like, man, man God has really blessed me with you, he, he's blessed me with the jewel, and he's given me a second chance in this uh, life uh, to, to, to be the man that I'm supposed to be, and, and what really blessed me with that is that the revelation that God gave me is that when, when I beat her down for being wrong just to win a fight, I'm really losing the battle. I'm really losing the entire war. Because and that's what a lot of people should understand. Right. 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 Yeah. And because Good. you're so busy trying not to be wrong. Yes, yes. yes. That you don't even understand that that I'm killing you. I'm killing you. everything. Yes. yes. Yes, because with, with when you make someone else the loser in a relationship, a, a loser in the dispute or a loser in the debate, especially when they're your significant other. The next time they're looking at you, they don't look at you as their husband. They don't look at you as their wife. They look at you as the person that just beat them up. And I don't know anybody that's watching us today is just totally in love with someone who just beat them up. Would you be totally in love with someone who just totally hurt your feelings? Would you be totally in love? Not, not that you lose your love for that person. That's not what I'm saying. But you ain't excited to see them either because you just created a uh, rivalry between the two. You know what I'm saying? So you're absolutely right, sweetheart, is that, you know, to keep going on and on just so that you can prove that you're right or just so that you won't be wrong, it, it destroys everything. 
what you got to say, uh, Lady Deidre? Come on, tell us what you got to say. Why is it so hard for people to be wrong? Well, well, they are wrong. What's up with this narcissistic behavior, this narcissistic behavior? What, what's going on with it? Why, why is it so hard for people to why? It, it can't. Why everybody got to be right? What? what you know what I mean? And, and then, too, who makes you the judge? Who told you that whatever, you know, you were saying or doing was the right thing to do? It could have really hurt the other person. It could have really offended the other person. Why is it that, you know, you thought that what you were doing was right? Come on, tell us what you think. Uh, come on, Tanya, Teddy, Moral. Tell us what you think. What's up, Julia? Tell us what you think. Why is it that it's so hard for people to admit that they're wrong? Especially adults, especially husbands, especially wives, especially leadership, especially those who have responsibility and authority uh, to make decisions for people. Verbal abuse is powerful. You're absolutely right, brother. Oh, Ron, yeah. brother Ron, Ron, you can stop right there. Because once you said it, you can't take it back, no matter how hard you try. Man, I don't know about y'all, but I, I pray to God that you all are very hygienic that you brush your teeth at least two or three times a day. But if you don't do the two or three times, at least grab that joke every morning. And every time that I brush my teeth, I've never been able to get the toothpaste back in the tube. Have you ever squirted it out and it fell in the sink and you're like, dog, oh, man, and you're trying to, you, 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 you trying to get, you can't put it back in the tube. So once it's out, man, it's out. You're absolutely right. You can't take those words back. They establish power, they establish a root, you know, so therefore, man, I just went dark skin up up in here. This is a light work. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we we're just you know, we're we're talking to you guys about about what you know, why is it so hard for people to admit when they're wrong? You wanna go and try to clap it up there? Yeah, yeah. we're gonna try to put down technology on it. There you go. That's okay. Why is it so hard for people to admit that they're wrong? That's like a night light, don't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on, y'all tell us what you think. Tell us what you think. Why is it so hard for people to admit that they're wrong? Why is it so hard for people to just say, I'm sorry? You know, you know, just apologizing goes a long way. It goes a long way in a relationship. I'm telling you, there have been times in my own personal relationship. What's up, new? There have been, Brother Quentin, there have been times in my own relationship with this beautiful woman sitting right here that that what I did was was was, was bad enough. But just saying I was sorry, you know, it just, it just made it, made it okay. You know, instead of trying to explain it, an explanation is not justification. But sometimes a person just wants to know that you didn't intend to hurt them. Sometimes they just want to know that, hey, it wasn't my goal, it wasn't my agenda, my heart, my motive wasn't there to destroy you or to hurt you or to abuse you or to beat you down or to say something that was pain. It's just, I didn't know. Sometimes we just ignorant to the fact that we even did it wrong. But in doing it wrong, and when the wrong has been brought to you, at least just say, I apologize. Right. You know? It's not, it's, I mean, it's not that bad. It's, just, you know, it's not that bad. You know, when I look at her, and when she looks at me, our goal, we didn't get there to get divorced. Right. And when you habitually, watch this, when you habitually, I said, watch this, when you habitually hurt your significant other and won't apologize for it, Stand there stubborn, stand there with your back up against the wall and you fight to the to the to the nitty gritty, you fight to the to the to Jesus come on. A person gets tired of that. It wears a person down. It do. And even that person that loved you more than anything gets worn out by your obstinance, by your stubbornness, by your pride, by that by by, by your unrelentlessness to to just say, babe, forgive me. I apologize. Yeah. What's up, Jimmy, man? Tell us what you think. Why is it so hard for people to admit when they're wrong? If you're wrong, you're wrong. You shouldn't have did it. Oh, big head. <laughs> we don't have to cut this video short. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. It's getting light. Especially get some light.
life. Mm-hmm. All right, people of God, we're going to tune in with y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how long should you hold the floor. Oh, what's the night? We might just check back to the night. Yeah. You know, man, we like talking to y'all anyway. Y'all, y'all keep uh, tuning in, speak the truth. If, if, if you want this live to continue, just go on and uh, comment on the wall. Give us some suggestions of things that you want to talk about. Questions that you may need answers, some help, some guidance. We, we're here. We're they can serving. also get notifications when we go online. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them how to do that, sweetheart. You know, I, I've been on the phone call. 777 <laughs> 9 <laughs> 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 <laughs>